I want, I want the best for you. It's not that I'm trying to hurt you. It's not that I'm trying to come against you about anything. Oh Lord, we got people got enough going on in their lives. Yes. They got enough going against yes. them. Yes, God. We don't need to come against people, but what we need to do is pray for people and tell them the things that they're doing. Oh Lord, have mercy, but but make sure that whenever we deal with them, deal with let's them. deal with them in love. Pray with us right now as we go forward in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you today. Thank yes, you for God. your blessing. Yes, God. We just honor you today for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for your glory, Lord. Thank you for your honor, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. We reverence your name. There's nobody like you, Lord. We thank you for keeping us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Lord, I just want to take plan right now, Lord, we need you. Lord, the reason we're showing up is because we need you, Jesus. Oh, God, we need you in our lives. We need you to help us, Lord. Oh, Lord, bless all of the ones that are on our prayer list. Lord, bless all of the family members that are, and the ones that are dealing with those, the ones that have died as a result of this virus. Bless our medical and professional, oh, Lord, those ones that are working uh, to provide care. But, Lord, please, God, bless each and every one of us. Bless every listener, every viewer, everyone that's participating, every supporter of this ministry, Lord, bless them. Oh, Lord, we forever, Lord, we're going to forever praise you. We're going to forever bless your name. And we thank you for all the things you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. In the book of Psalms, in the book of Psalms, chapter number 46, going to read some scripture here for you listening. Psalms, chapter number 46. Uh, the psalmist writes when he says, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore will we not fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried away into the midst of the sea though the waters they all roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling they are Selah, there is a river the streams there whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge sing with me oh magnify the lord the lord for he he's worthy to be praised yes oh magnify the lord the lord for he he's worthy to be praised
that we've set aside to be his residence. There's something about coming into his presence where we set aside, where we sanctify, hallelujah, this moment to be with him. Last week I sung a song and that song has continually been raining in my heart about how much we need the Lord. You know, we, we, we see some people that are trusting in chariots and trusting in horses, but we need the Lord. We need his strength. We need his power every day, every hour. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I need you, Lord.
I'm telling you, it's going to be a time that the Lord is going to visit his people. Yes. Just like he's visiting us now. It's going to be even greater on that Sunday, on Easter Sunday, when we're going to be here. We're going to be in the building. But God is going to bless us. We're going to have communion to those that want to want to participate in communion. Uh, be here on time. Don't, don't, don't straggle. But, but come in and, and, and be ready. So whenever we have communion, you can, you can be a part of that. We're going to have communion on that particular Sunday. And the Lord is going to send us a word which we need. We need to hear from heaven. Just like what he's going to do to, for us today. He's going to send us a word today. Uh, in the person of, I, 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 was, I told you I was in Orlando while I was there. I decided I, I, I wanted to get some help today to, to preach to us. And, 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 and so I called Minister Frankie Curtis. And I said, Minister Curtis, we're going to be outside on Sunday. Uh, I'm just wondering whether or not you were going to be able to preach to us. Will you be willing to preach to us? And listen, he, he, he didn't exchange words. He was saying, yes, Lord, let's do it. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the sentiments of his heart. Yes, Lord, let's do it. So listen, we are here. He is here. And he's going to be coming at this moment. Elder Minister Curtis, Frankie Curtis, is going to be coming at this moment. And he's going to be preaching to us. From those things that God has given him, and God bless him as, as and and bless us as we hear those things that He's going, he, He's have us. Minister Curtis, my Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. There are a few other things that I will bring to your attention, and I'll, I'll make mention of. Thank you. I'll make mention of after this, after this meeting here. And I'm so glad for all of you all. I'm so glad for every one of you that are here. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. I want to, I want to speak to you before you leave. But I'm seeing you. I'm so glad for every one of you all that have, that have uh, shown up here today. God bless every one of you. Mr. Frankie Curtis is going to come at this moment in his own way. Probably not too many amen. 
from this mission. Come on now. But it's from the Lord. Yeah, from okay. The Lord. That's the only thing that matters. That's right. It's from God. Because one thing I know, it's yeah. gonna take the word to keep us. That's right. And it's gonna take the word to get us to heaven. Yeah. That's right. If you think you can get to heaven without the word, you tell me how you did. Because that ain't gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But I thank God for the word that God had given me. But Pastor, when you had called, I have so many on my mind. I want to make sure this is the one that God wanted me to come and teach. And He gave me the, the book, the scripture, and everything with it. But He didn't give me a time. <laughs> That's all right. He said, Lord, what's the title to this? <laughs> right. He didn't say nothing. Right. And He still didn't say nothing all night long. He didn't say a word. See, that's why it, what it really get me for all these people saying God is talking to them. Yes, sir. Having all these chitty chatty conversations with them. Right. But he ain't told them how to get saved. Oh, boy. Jesus. <laughs> now, that, 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 that blows my mind. <laughs> how God can have a conversation with you. Right. You not saved, but he ain't meant to know salvation to you. I can't do that. Right. Because I'm going to say what he did for me. When God saved my soul, Thank you, when he get, got ready to lead me to his salvation, guess what? He right. troubled my man. Yes, he, did. Right. he didn't let my man be in peace. There was something always going on in my mind. I said, Lord, what is this thing on my man? What are right. you trying to tell me? Right. And guess what? I had to be submissive to him in order, to, in order for me to get what he's trying That's to tell right. me. But anyway, I want to come to you this morning. From Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 through 23. And when I pulled up in the in the parking lot, it was it was tickle to me. It was funny. God said, narrow way. Narrow. Narrow way. You know, when I was in the, in the Marine Corps, right. and I was um, instructed up under the Special Forces, and every time we went out on a mission, we dressed. We had all our supplies of everything we need on our back. Right. Our whole home was on my back. And this message reminded me of the narrow way. You know, Everybody trying to enter in with all they miss. Oh, no. <laughs> but there were many places we had to go in right. that we had to take it off. Take it off. Because it was too much weight. Right, right. Not only was it weight, it was too wide to get yes, through the door. Yes, yes, yes. We couldn't go this way, couldn't go that way because you got your backpack on, you right. strapped down with everything you got, you got the weapon, but we stripped down to everything except our weapon. We had to keep the weapon. That's our protection. That's it. And weapon and our ammunition, so those we can leave behind. Right. right. But everything right. that we had to leave behind. Oh, so right. one soldier say, "Hey, what do I do for something new?" Then you get trained how to feed yourself. <laughs> Don't you know what to eat? This is a bad. Right. So we always were prepared for anything that we need. And it's the same kind of God that we serve in today. Yes, yes. God didn't save us to leave us without knowing the way to him. And way. how to stay on the course to stay with him. Yes, sir. There's a narrow way only that God people got to travel. Right, right. We can't be out in the broad running around, going everywhere, tending everybody, being itself God being. Yes, sir. And I like the world, what Bishop said that when he went on vacation, he kept doing God's work. It would have been just the easy bum to come where you leave prayer saying tonight. You leave the Bible class tonight, but he did it himself. Right. I thank God for this. Right. See, if we don't follow somebody, follow somebody to follow Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you. We can't follow everybody. Right, right, right. Everybody yeah. talking. There's so many people out here preaching and teaching and going and doing this and doing that. And God said, hey, ain't send them out here. Didn't send them out Because they don't even have a man for God. But anyway, I want to start here in 
chapter uh, 7, verse 13. Pastor, you said you're going to read for me. Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Oh, be man, man. Go ahead. I'm because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So, so, so what's the thing? Few. There's not a person that you meet to say they're not saved. That's right. Come on now. So, is heaven going to be crowded? Or is heaven going to be peaceful? All right, all right. Because this scripture here say, few there will be that will find it. Right, right. And John 10, 10 tells us, the thief come and not, but for the steal, to kill and destroy. Right. He said, I come that you might have life and they might have it more abundantly. So, and there's another scripture that stuck to my, to my man. I'm going to jump ahead of myself. See, we as the people of God think we can keep the whole world and still be saved. We think we can go everywhere and do everything and still stay safe. Now, a lot of people say, well, I can be saved and still do this and I can still do this. Right. I beg to differ because the Bible don't teach us. The Bible don't teach that. There's something we have to stop doing. And I remember, I remember seeing the, this uh, big old nest on a tree and it had Spinal big, thick spinal I didn't know what it was. Right. And me as a little boy, and I went there and I tore it down, tried to see what was in it. What was in it? Because I, my mind wanted to know what was in it. Right. So I tore it up and looked in there. It was a woman. Look, look, what you talking about? Wow. So this is, as, as life goes on and I got saved and I'm, seeing it again and I recognize, I say, you know what? I killed something. Because this is a process and I think about the natural as well as the spiritual life. When we come to God, we don't dump everything right deep. That's right. Wow. Hmm. wow. We That's don't lose right. everything right deep. No, we don't. But God had to get us in a mold to where he could deal with us. Yeah, right. So here this one word in this, in this thing of Spider webs, right, whatever right. they made out of it. Uh -huh. It was a process that it was taken in that womb. Right. Same way it do when we come to God and God accept us and he have a place that he had to keep us right. away from a lot of stuff. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Now we got a man like a baby. Wow. Right. Anything that we hear, we claim. Anything that is said to and hurt our feelings. So he trying to make us because when he stripped you down of your own stuff, you come down like a baby. That's right. Sometimes you got different kids. Some of them you can talk loud to and some of them you can't. Right, right. Everybody ain't made based up on the same feeling. That's right. Some kids gonna take on get what you say to them. They ain't gonna hurt. That's right. They'll look at you, keep smiling, keep going. Some right. of them just make the wrong word. Right, right. They crying like a baby. Then right. you gotta calm them down. But anyway, he go this one growing in this thing. And I also look at our life. When we first came to Jesus. When he came to him, right. he started making us and molding us and shaping us into what he wants us to be. That's right. When we can't get in the fear of what he's doing, we got to let God be at work yes. at his own hand. Trust him. That's so here right. he is, got this cancun growing in this thing, and, and then when it comes out, the time for it comes out, it go to working the way out of it. Right. Then it coming out, a beautiful butterfly. Yes, That's sir. right. Yes, sir. That's what we are. Beautiful Lord butterfly. Lord. Thank you. God, is, you know, he working behind the scenes. We don't see it. Right. But he's doing something. He's working. He's working. That's it. But you got to humble yourself mm -hmm. and let him do what he has to do. Let him do him. When, when I look right. at these scriptures and I say, Lord, well, you know, you don't very seldom 
Hear a preacher coming from these streets. Right, right. God said, teach it. Teach it. So, slow it down. Mm. Somebody don't understand my way. Wow. But we got to get the mind that we want to be saved and do everything in our power to stay safe. Right. Because the enemy come like a thief in the night. That's right. Trying to kill, trying to yes, steal everything that God done put in you. Right. That's why we have to be careful what we put in our ears on. That's, That's right. why we have to be careful what we put in our eyes on. That's right. Because it can, it can destroy where God is trying to take you to. That's you can't right. listen to everybody. All right. You can't sit up on everybody. Too much stuff going in your eyes and your ears, and now you you sit up here. Now you don't both. You know, sometimes you go to somebody and you tell them what's going on with you, and they say, "Well, man, you know, God wants you to um, go and get your own church. They'll right. live a lot. They'll live a lot. You got to get some training first. You need some training. That's right. I used to hear one of my old pastors. Yes, sir. He told me he said, "Frank, let me tell you something." You should never sit up on the past again, do you? Wow, wow. Kind of hurt me, feel Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why he told me that. Right, right. But it was years later down the road, I understood what he was saying. Wow. Because he hadn't been nowhere. Wow, wow. God hadn't took him nowhere. Right. It wasn't, he ain't had no hardships in life. Some people ain't never struggle a day in their life. Lord, have mercy. I'm telling y'all now. Mm -hmm. I done been, I done, you know, I even wonder why I'm going to the church and I, everywhere I go, I'm, I'm, I ain't say no, but I'm very careful what makes them see me. Yes, sir. And I study that atmosphere. Right, right, right. And in this atmosphere, you got these young guys coming up, passing over churches. And ain't never been through Lord, right, right. Ain't never sit up no back. Right. Then they put a towel on, call me up. Ella. I thought Ella was an older person to help the younger people. <laughs> See, an uh, elder is somebody that been through something. Right, right, right. He done been around for a while. He didn't just come out of school and preaching. Because we went through something. I, I, I mean, you know, I tell people all the time. If you ask me, I was from my family called me. Not what I've been through. Right. Where was he at when I needed him? Now, this is my man saying. Where was he at when I needed him? Where was he at when I needed him? Where was he at when I was out there doing this? Where was he at when I was there when I was slinging drugs around? Where was that God at? Why did I have to go through all of this in life in order for him to get me where I'm at? Because everybody comes from somewhere. That's right. That's right. How can I help anybody if I ain't never been through them? Ain't been through them. Then they come and say, oh, I'm going, I went through the same thing, I'm going through the same thing. So God brought me my stuff over here for him. So that's why he allowed me to go through what right. I went through. Lord, when I look back at him, I know God was there because thank you look at me now. I'm here. Yes, yes, sir. So I thank God for that. Thank God for it. 1 Peter 4 and 18, he said, And if the righteousness scarcely be saved. Wow. Woo! Man, that scared me right there. <laughs> if the I know righteousness right. scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner be Right. Yes. If they're going to be scared to be saved, that's right. Where shall the other people appear? <laughs> this is a narrow way. Narrow. It's a narrow way. We got to pull off stuff and things and hatred and, and, right, and, right. and talking about one another. And the things we going to help us, we ain't going to help us with that. Yeah? See, people think you can live any kind of way here and think they're going to walk up in heaven with this myth. That ain't gonna happen. You got to get what you got wrong right here. Yes, sir. This is our dressing up room in order to get the yes, help. Yes, it is. You ain't gonna go live a, a hell of a life all your life and think you're gonna die and go out rattling up in heaven. That ain't gonna happen. Right. A lot of people say, well, maybe he's a kid that she repented. 
No, if that person that never went through the water and baptism in Jesus' name, got filled with God, fresh and holy ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, dude, he didn't make it. No, she didn't make it. They think because they're on the deathbed, they repented in heaven and hell. No, it's not. And these preachers need to quit laughing because ain't nobody in heaven yet. <laughs> ain't nobody in heaven looking down on nobody. If you think that's true, then you find it in the Bible and you give me a call and let me know. I want to read it. Ain't nobody in heaven yet. Right. Ain't nobody in heaven yet. That's right. Or even though when the rich man and the poor man die, after that, after that scene, God builds a gut between them. Right. Right. And the heaven right. can't communicate with hell, and hell can't communicate with heaven. Right. Right. So you tell me one that's sitting up there looking down on this now. I know my mama proud of me. She see me in church now. I know she she just jumping up and down. Don't you know? I'm sorry, she not jumping up and down. So it, it, the Bible says the dead are probably gonna rise first. That's right. So she should be already down there. What That's she gotta rise from? Right, right, right. 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 All right. Hmm. I know y'all might not like this kind of Come teaching, on. but this is true. It's the Bible. The See that what's wrong? We get scared to preach the truth. Long as I got the word of God in that King James Version, the Bible, what I say, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to be just like Paul. See, even though when God has saved Paul, and Paul, God, no, he already had to get some kind of bold that wasn't scared of his word. Yes. He had to take it to the people that Peter went and preached to. Oh, no. He was preaching. Right, then how they gonna get what we got, them Gentiles? <laughs> they ain't never been with you, God. How they gonna right. get what we got? Right. Why you can't forsake that? Yeah, right. God made it all, and anybody could get it. There's no distant, there's no certain ones and certain skins of color that the salvation not offered to. Right, right, it's offered right. to us all. Oh, all. Whosoever. Whosoever we let it come. <laughs> Green, blue, black, <laughs> white. Pink, purple, whatever color. God said, let them come. That's it. That's it. This is free. It's free. And it won't, you can be the poorest of the poor to get. You ain't got to have no money. That's it. Or you got to have a made of man. That money. That's all it takes. There's right. a made of man. Thank you, Jesus. And God will deal with you. Yes, he will. You'll be the stronger voice of him. Then can't nobody stand and look at you. Here come that Jesus, fella. <laughs> but I think God should come. Thank you, Jesus. Fifteen. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Woo! Who are you talking about? Uh -huh. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Mm. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every fruit, every tree that brings not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Mm, Lord, what is cast into the word? Into the fire. Now, 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 let's back up here a little bit. He said, Be well, false prophet. You mean that false prophet? False prophet. Be well. Are there false prophets? Be well. But they say God sent them? Be well. Now, who said this? God said, be well. You know, I, I, I often wonder, I said, now how did the false prophet get in here? And I thought about it. Jesus had many followers. Right, right. He had many disciples. Right. And when he was teaching this to them, they looked at Jesus like he was a crazy man. 
He said, wait a minute now. Nah, this fella, something wrong with this man. Right. Who's going to drink your blood and eat of your flesh? Right. Right. So the Bible said they all got up and walked away from Jesus. See, that's why you get all these lines out here. They don't think they don't learn their thing. They think they got a revelation of the God word because they didn't walk. They didn't finish. They walk with Jesus. See, there's a process we all have to go through. And they did not get their process. That's how we got this baptism in uh, Matthew 28 and 19. Right. That's why right, all that come from. Because they went and on their own and picked up this gospel. Right. And the Bible already done told us. If anybody come preaching anything of himself, this God, right. if it be an angel, let it be a curse. Uh -uh. You mean an angel? Right. So we have to be very careful what we hear. That's why when you get saved, the first thing I ask people to do, I say, pray to God that God give you a spirit of the same. Right, right. Yeah. Because you need to know who's talking to you. Because that devil is coming out there to steal, kill, and destroy. Right, right. He's trying to sift everything out of you that God has put in you. He told people, he said, the devil desired to shoot you. That's just like I remember seeing my grandma used to have that flour and milk, that meal. She used to shake it. And all the good stuff come out, all the bad stuff stay in. <laughs> See, that was the devil trying to get the good out of him. So he could use you. That's it. Woo, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus. God is good. Thank you, God is good job when we ain't good. That's right. But look around this morning and look at everybody here this morning. We all don't get everything on the point, pin point. But I thank God for grace and mercy yes. that he kept us to get it right today. What we messed up yesterday. Lord, forgive me if I didn't do everything the way you right, called right, yesterday. Right, right. Lord, you're giving me another chance today to get it right. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. We cannot serve another God like this. There is no other God. There is no other God that love us the way God loves us. Nobody. Lord, I thank you. Lord, you're so good to us. Woo, Lord. Boy, I'm telling you, this word, I say this because I'm always excited. I went on uh, campaigning all last week. Campaign. And I did more preaching than campaigning. <laughs> so, so the guy said, I already know you ain't gonna campaign to be in three days. But when I got through with him, he said, man, you know what? I so appreciate you. Yes, sir. He said, you did something I was going through. I've been going through something. Right, right. That's right. And what you say, you don't know how much you help me. Wow. See, we don't never know how we help people. Right. That's why the Bible says, take the word and take it in the street. Take it to the highway, the highway. Yeah, and every time we go, right. you know, we thank God want us uh -huh. to be quiet. That's right. <laughs> be quiet. God had invested his most important thing in us, and that's the Holy Ghost. That's the witness to people right. that don't know me. Right. How they going to know if you don't open your mouth? God gave you the greatest gift of all. When God gave us his son, died on that rugged cross for you and I. Lord, thank you. I can't be quiet. I know where God brought me from. I know the mess I was in. That's right. Man couldn't get me out. Man kept on putting their foot on my head to keep me in. Oh, they were gone one, the last one. Look at him now. He ain't got no money. He can't get out of this. He better go to prison. And when he come back, he gonna be a sister. Oh, but look at me now. I'm a sister for Jesus. And I sure ain't scared of nobody. Jesus. <laughs> but I thank God that even though I went through the process, getting ready to go through the process, and both times I went, I went to prison. Right, 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 right. The second week, I think it take a like three week process. Right. During the second week, I come in from detail. Mm. May come through the gate, they pass such and strip you down. They call my name. Frankie right. Curtis. Right. I'm like, what the hell is that? Right, right. Back up, you finna go. Finna go. 
Lord, I ain't say that. I wish it that. I ain't <laughs> praise God. I get real sad the way I am. I'm not taking nothing out of them. Because these folks in prison, when they see you finna get ready to go, right. they'll do something to keep you in that way. That's right. Prison just like a crab or so. A crab or so. They never want to see you leave. They're always pulling you down. Just like people do the God people. Every time they see one of God's children trying to claim them, right. the devil always reaching up trying to pull them down here with them. Right. But one thing about it, we still cannot give up on him. Make no difference how the devil come in. Because we more greater than the devil. Right. The devil ain't over us. The Bible said the devil don't have power over you. He said he on the devil to try to tempt you to do this. If he tempted me, he gonna tempt you. That's, That's right. why I gave you the That's same right. thing I had right. that I would want. Well, I can always flop back to him, right. and he didn't have what I had, so that's why he wasn't able to tempt me. He gave us the Holy Ghost. Yeah. We can't be tempted of the Holy Ghost. Mm. The tempted to come to us, right, right, right. But it can't do what it came to do. Because we are overcome. Overcome. And where we at now? Woo. Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where we at, Pastor? Verse 20. Okay. Wherefore, by their fruit ye shall know them. Verse 21. Not everyone who says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, <clears throat> you mean all these people, <clears throat> all these people that's out here praying in the name of Jesus, healing the sick, wow. raising the dead, oh, uh, going through something in life and they give them a peace, going through their trouble. You mean them people ain't going to heaven? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Now, wait a minute now. But you see, these, are, these folks here just like imitators. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I call them counterfeiters. Counterfeiters. Wow. They come here and preaching in Jesus' name, mm. but they don't even love me. <laughs> because they know the name works. There's power in the name of Jesus. Jesus didn't say whoever don't you, whoever you my name, but they ain't say they won't work. Right. He said there is power wow. in the name of Jesus. Right. All you got to do is call him and something gonna happen. You can't call Jesus' name and don't nothing happen. Thank you, Lord. When you're a sinner or saint, something gonna work. See that's why a lot of these sinners can't get saved because a lot of things they do. And when they do it, they know how to pray. Right. They got mothers and they got fathers and, and they done heard them pray. Right. So they've been taught how to pray. Right. They've been to the apostolic church. Oh. They've been down in, the, in oh. Jesus' name, but they never received the Holy Ghost. So they know how to call on Jesus. Oh. But they ain't got saved. <clears throat> but we pray that God will get a hold to our children, man. Because I say this, like I said, I've been to a lot of churches. The future of a church is our children. Because the church has to keep going on. Right, right. We got that out. So this thing got to be, it's just like a running a marathon. Right, right. The baton got to be passed out to the next. And when you ain't got the younger one in church, then some of them, the, 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 the baton going to get dropped. Right. That's right. Because they got nobody to pass it to. Nobody to pass it to. How many people that we actually really know that strive to be saved? Lord Young Jesus. people now. Yes, Jesus. That's the devil's biggest challenge right there to get as many as he can. Right, right, Jesus. So he works on them. I know. He deal with them. He put them in places to buy them. The glittering and shining and all this stuff, and then some of them think that's what life is all about. Wow. Because the devil know how to manipulate you. That's right, he can do it. He's very wise. He is. He done slipped up on me a minute time. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost. 
Yes, yes. I thank yes. God for the Holy Ghost. Yes, Jesus. Because one for the Holy Ghost, I've been back out there. Right, right, right. I went through stuff and didn't have everything I needed. And then here come the devil come up to me and the Lord said, I almost sleep. Almost. But the Holy Ghost come. Yes. Say, get out from there. Yes. This ain't what I brought you out for. Yes, yes. You're talking about me now. Can't right. say that about nobody else. Right. I don't slip the many times, but the Holy Ghost would dare to pick me up and keep me from falling. Yes, yes. Anybody that say they saved and ain't the man they went back one time, they are lying the truth not in. That's right. Somewhere the devil tried to get them. But they kept holding on to what they had, and that was the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is more powerful than anything that we can have. Yes, have. yes. Hmm. Now, this is what this is what finna get you. When we finna go down here to 23. And then will I profess unto them I never knew you. Oh Lord. What did he say? Depart from me, you who work iniquity. Who said that? <laughs> now, Thank you, Jesus. I don't care what we try to do in life, saying, listen to me. Whether you in the dark, whether you in California, whether you on New York, I don't care what part of the world you in, God is there. God is there. You can make your bed in hell, God is there. Yes, he is. Yes, so where am I going to go to get out the sight of God? Nowhere. Nowhere. So I done made up in my mind that ain't running from me. Oh. I done made up in my mind that ain't trying to hide from me. Everything I do, I want to be opening to the people so when they can see the God in me. Yes, sir. I ain't got time for no change. I ain't got time for this new stuff to come out. You know, everybody always say, you know, uh, change ain't bad. No, we see it, but we don't see the outcome of it. You better know that. Because everything new ain't good. I know this in the time of 2021 we're giving in. Because I'm just not getting caught up with these things right here. Amen. <laughs> That's a lot of this stuff here I don't know. I remember when I first got on the computer at my job. And I hate to say it like this. But uh, that was a pastor with my supervisor. And I'm clicking on that thing, going on, I'm trying to learn how to operate this. I'm going down, hitting buttons, hitting buttons. And all of a sudden, a new site jumped up. I was like, whoa, what is this? Now, it's on the office computer. Right, right, right. And I did something and locked the thing up. I shared it out and they said, jump on the devil. I shared it out and I put it on the devil. But I shared that jerk off and I thought something off. I don't know what I did, so I had to call the guy. And Computer check me, he had to come in there and fix it. He said, uh, uh, Mr. Curtis, uh, uh, you don't want to never just shut these things down. You got to, uh, it's a process you have to go through. Go through. You can't cut it off. Right, right, right. I said, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> right. I thought you cut it off. You cut off? But I thank God for, 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 for teaching. I thank God for him teaching me because I didn't go to school to learn how to operate a computer. Right, right, right. There's a lot of things I didn't go to school for. I didn't go to school how to preach. I didn't go to school to, right. to be the word of God taught to me. I wanted Jesus to teach me his word. Yes. Because when he gave it to me, now I'm his responsibility. If I mess up, he gonna deal with me. Yes, sir. And I thank God for that. And he have had to whoop me many times. <laughs> I done had my whooping from God. Lord, I done had a whoop. When you get your whoop and I guarantee you ain't gonna want another whooping from God. <laughs> so I thank God for, for real pastors in the world. Because I know there are some right. striving to do what God has called. That's before. right. That's right. And I thank God for them. Yes. Y'all don't know there's a job 
when a man took peoples over his feet. That's right. Because one thing about it, everybody don't have the same spirit. Each and every one of us, we have to deal with different. <clears throat> That's why I don't like these big mega churches because really you never get to talk to your pastor. Unless you email and I saw right. Because he got so many people meeting and folks in that, so ain't no way you can ever see. Him. But I thank God for this word because this God, this word here really soon my spirit through some things I have been through in life and I look at things and if we go to heaven, there's some things you gotta pull off. That's right. That's right. There's some things you gotta pull off. Yes. There are things you cannot get to heaven with. There are things that God didn't, when he saved us, he didn't take everything. He said, now you have to do this. Some you things you got to pray for. That's right. There's something you have to do That's in your right. life. That's right. Yes, God. Yes, God. In order for God to get, he, get you where he wants you to be in. So you have that will and mind to do what God will do the rest. So I ask y'all to continue to pray for me in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 lesson today, an incredible lesson, wonderful lesson. Thank God for the word that, it, that has been said in the, in the preaching. Thank you, Minister Curtis, for your word. Allow the Lord to speak to you and to speak to us. Listen, God bless every one of you. We're so glad that, that you have made your time in this moment for you to be with us today, out here today on this beautiful first day of spring. You made your time to be with us. Even online, many of you, you're, you're with us online, and we appreciate you so much. And we thank you for doing that. Uh, God bless you. If you need prayer, someone needs prayer, we'll certainly uh, attend to those things. Otherwise, we're going to make a few, one or few things that I, I will tell you about. Um, during the month of April, April the 17th is the date that we've kind of scheduled right now. We'll, we'll talk more about this on next week, but April the 17th, uh, we're going to meet here as a as a body, the ones that are willing, the ones that are willing. We're going to meet here as a body. We're going to have a fun day. We're going to be on our campus right here on the line, right here. We're going to be here. Uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to I'm going to bring my barbecue grill, and, and we're going to, we're going to barbecue while we're here, and have some food while we're here, and just kind of enjoy our company. Listen, I, 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 I know, I do know, I'm aware, I am aware that, that there is a virus that's still there and we still have to be careful. And I want you to be careful. You need to be careful. Make sure you're careful. And, 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 and if you uh, want to, you can go and get your, get your vaccine. Uh, I thank the Lord that I did. I went, and, I went and took that shot because I'm trying to get as, far, as close back to to being back to normal as we possibly can, but but that's your that's your decision. You make that decision for yourself as to whether or not you want to get vaccinated. But but we but that's it's going to be fine for us to do this. So April 17th is when we're scheduling that. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk more about that in the future and so many other things. And in fact, that's all I'm going to do today. Um, God bless every one of you and pray. I'm going to pray for you as we are going to be dismissed. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you. thank you for your blessing unto us. Thank you for this town, Lord, this city of Bay, Mississippi. Lord, thank you for the people. Thank you for this community, Lord. I'm asking you to bless each and every one, all of these and these, the ones that, that live here, but everyone, Lord, that's certainly a part of this ministry. Oh, God, bless this ministry as we continue to do our very best to walk up before you, to let our light shine, Lord, that men might see you. Lord, our works but deem glorified you. Be with us, Lord, even as we travel back to our home and our place and our jobs. Be with us and, and keep us, Lord, until the next time we gather here in your name. We love you for all the things you've done. And we honor you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen.